I know, I know, I know. It's been, it's been almost 10 years since my last episode upload. I know, I understand. I'm saying, I understand. But I'm back, you know, that's what that matters. Better late than never. I'm back. You know, I'm going to hit y'all with two videos today. Maybe some videos tomorrow, maybe some videos on Sunday. You never know. So just gotta, I got to check it off my list. The video for today is, it says the canceled funeral. Muhammad Ali versus George Foreman. But really, I mean, the canceled funeral is very, a very good way to put it. But Muhammad Ali versus George Foreman, I don't know if y'all know the history, but like, Muhammad Ali pulled off the pulled off the, in, the the impossible. Till this day, like I was starstruck. I've watched the fight already. I just want to watch the breakdown. But when I watched, till this day, knowing who George Foreman is, when I watched it, that was sort of a moment that made me realize why everyone calls Muhammad Ali the greatest of all time. That was one of the moments. But let me not talk so much. <coughs> kind of sick, you know what I'm saying? Kind of going through it. My voice and changing. <coughs> It's that time of the year. You know, winter's here, it's snowing, it's getting cold. So, but with that being said, so let's get into the video, man. Let's see you all go on. Cassius, how do you feel today? Pretty good. How you doing? Mm -hmm. I met Don Juan today. How was he? He wasn't too friendly. What do you have to say? He didn't even shake my hand. What are you going to do about that? Now you must fall. But Muhammad Ali has a has a history of beating the big bad guys. Sonny Liston twice, George Foreman. Oh man! In the ring, his every boast came true. Facts. Fast hands. The soon to be Sometimes Muhammad it's hard to really understand how fast a person's world, hands are. Beating Fight. Sonny Liston to take his title in 1964. Before I started boxing, I really understand like how fast their hands are. But when you start boxing and you see how slow yours are, and you understand that like, this is a 200 plus pound man throwing goes through punches contender that fast. After contender <laughs> in high style with dazzling ability. I'm young, I'm handsome, I'm fast, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. Is that Cleveland Williams? Knocked him out in three. Who's that? What? Sonny, listen. And people couldn't yeah. see it. They, it was so fast. But you know what people don't realize? Was that Sonny Listen actually got up from the punch. He got up and actually continued fighting. In April 1967, Muhammad Ali refuses to be drafted to go fight in Vietnam. It has been said that he stood, I have two stood for what he believed. Either go and he jail, believed what he, in what his, he stood for. <coughs> I, like I can't even imagine, bro, a black man in the 1960s going against society. He stood up for his society. principles. He beat back forces of He's human different. savagery He's different. with savagery in kind. He stripped of his title, which leads to a three-year legal battle that keeps him out of the ring. If I recall correctly, you said you were the people. He didn't change champion. his mind once. Yes, sir. Do you think that you're acting like a people's champion? Yes, sir. We lost three never years of genius mind. and 58,000 American lives. The same year Ali appears on Esquire, covered in the slings and arrows of fate. George Foreman appears in Mexico City, covered in red, white, blue, and gold. Mm. Big George. This dude was a beast, bro. He was like a Sonny Liston with a little bit more boxing ability. A little bit more technique. <coughs> And a little bit more power fight. You know what I'm saying? He was like a like an upgraded version of Sonny Liston. <laughs> it's like they took Sonny Liston to the to the repair shop and upgraded him a little bit. George waved flags. He was a street kid from Houston who put his tremendous physique to work committing muggings before learning how the world and boxing worked in Job Corps. He won gold after only two years of training. Mostly because Crazy. he could punch the cardboard to that bag. like it's cardboard. What are you doing to that bag, bro? You put a dent in it while someone's holding it.
Ali makes his return, having won his Supreme Court case. Jerry Corey. Does he have a brother? What's his brother's name? Mike Corey. Am I tripping? I know he had a brother that was also a boxer. Mm. Mm. Muhammad Ali. You can already tell. But Not while Ali that. was fighting in the courtroom, Joe Frazier <coughs> had been fighting in the ring. He yep. had beaten every man put in Smoking front of him. Smoking Joe. Y'all should go watch my Joe Fraser video. Versatile weapon. Smoking Joe Fraser. The heavyweight division. Fraser is just so easy to hit, and he can't back up. True. He's got no boxing ability whatsoever. Mm. I mean, Muhammad Ali wasn't that wrong. I mean, I can't say he was easy to hit because he had the. But he, he didn't, he didn't bend, he didn't bob and weave with his knees. He bobbed and weaved with his waist, so he just bent down. He didn't like Mike Tyson bobbed and weaved his knees. We go back. This is the day, I'm man. You understand? Day. I just hope you're not fighting real. Glory. You're not fighting Oscar right. Bonaventa. You're not fighting Sonny Liston. You fighting Joe well, Frazier. Everybody knows that's, that's not the point. That's the point. Two prime undefeated heavyweight champions mm. clashing over who was the rightful champion. Legendary. <laughs> but then what, Joe? Like, you can hit him a lot, but he's gonna give you the punches back. He's gonna throw them punches back with the left hook. You can hit him, but he's not gonna stop. That's why they call him smoking. <coughs> like a train. You gotta put his fire out, or else he's gonna keep smoking. He's a cross guard too. Hmm, bro, Muhammad Ali could eat punches for days, bro. What the hell? <laughs> he had the will to stay up, the will to not lose. Ali shook up the world again. This time on his back. Mm, his jaw was swollen. Look at his face swollen up and he's still fighting. He got up. Using the legendary fight of the century to Joe Frazier, who put in a supernatural performance. Ali's comeback was stopped in its tracks. Frazier posted a pair of defenses before Big George rears his big head. George sure, had trained with Sonny Liston, sure, right developed not George. only his slugging style, but also his <coughs> quiet menace and distaste for the media. You would continue boxing even if you uh, would lose over there. I beg your pardon. Frazier was a huge favorite going say? into their fight. Would lose over there. No, that, the that boy George is a scary man. That boy said, I beg your pardon. You heard what he said. Going into their that was a threat. In that was not like he wasn't like telling him to say what he said again. Son, Joe that was a threat. Ran right into George Foreman, like yeah. a Pontiac wrapped around an oak George, tree. I mean, Joe Frazier also had will too, but like, he didn't have will. Like, his, he just got hit too much too easily. Did he get knocked? Did he get knocked down like eight times? Oh no, that was the second fight. <coughs> down goes Frazier. He was too easy to hit, bro. Number one, he's small. So and George Foreman likes to he likes the frame. Of George's uppercut. The George likes the frame. Off his feet. So, so while George is, is weaving down and weaving down, George is pushing him back with both his hands. Look, look, he's pushing him back with both his hands to 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 to, to up, make him off balance, and then eats. Then he George is gonna. Um, Joe's gonna eat the uppercuts, but George, got, Joe got up every time, bro, bro. George hit him off the campus, bro. Like, you know, he just, it was just too easy to hit. This After is a bad match. In just two rounds, <laughs> he there was knocked him off his feet. After Ali's loss to was Archie Moore, he goes on an Was Archie Moore his trainer? After Ali's loss to Frazier, he goes on an eight fight win streak. That's Jim Ellis? Who's that? Um, who's this? 
Oh, I don't know who that is. Mmm. <coughs> Damn, he stunned him. But the showy elegance that once marked his style Bob Foster. was fading. I think. I, I hope I'm not saying these wrong, but I think that was Bob Foster. Oh no, it wasn't. The blazing speed of hand and foot begin to wane. Who's that? Ali meets his match in Ken Norton. Wait, he fought Ken before he fought George? Damn. In the first fight, Ken <coughs> counter jabbing proved poison to Ali's style. That's not jabbing, he was throwing the right hand. I still I need, I need to watch some Ken Norton film. I have not watched none of his fights. But they called him Hercules. Look at his body. Look at the build. But look at his back. Yeah. Great physique. Mmm, double jab. He also moved to the jab. White swing. That was a white swing. But he Norton moves his head with the jab. Ali's jaw. Damn. He lost. They would rematch <coughs> after Ali healed. Though able to edge a split decision the second time around. It was Norton who got the first crack at Foreman's title. Oh well, yeah, he knocked him on in two rounds too. I remember this. Unlike the swarming Frazier, Ken tried to run. He can't run, he can't hide, he's gonna catch him. Fought Norton. He paused, he's Michael pawing. Myers slaying teenagers. Whoa. George has boxing ability. Unlike that monster, An orthodox boxing George ability, but great for his style, because he's tall. And he stalks you. Use that pause, use the framing. <coughs> he pushes you. Controls your head. He kept reaching his palm Controls out your shoulders. to catch Ken's jab and his best tool away from him. Ken had a good job. Mm, you see, he hits and then pushes you. Pushes your shoulders. George's brilliant ring cutting got him into range and kept him there. He had good boxing ability, I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> but minutes, then, Ken's not like top tier, but decent. When you have decent boxing ability him. with tremendous power. Damn, he took him out. George Foreman tore through both Frazier and Norton in a total of just George, over 10 minutes. George is a bad on. man, bro. He looked at Ken in the, in the, in the eyes. Boxing is a very bad sport. The fight had to be made. <laughs> Where the Lamoon, bro, Muhammad Ali was Don a character, gets a bro. Signature from each I wish I met him on a contract I promising I Ali and Foreman five million apiece. I can't even imagine a conversation with Muhammad Ali. Problem was, Don King did not have ten million dollars. He contacts a representative of the newly formed nation of Zaire. It was a former Belgian colony where pretty much Zaire, any disobedience oh, meant losing a limb. The nation of Zaire agreed to host the event and pay all the expenses. Zaire yeah, money like didn't that. care for George Foreman. <coughs> it was hard enough just being Muhammad Ali's opponent. We gonna get it on because we don't get alone. I don't like him. He talks too much. The man's in trouble. The man is scared. He's in my country to start with. But it was George's cold demeanor and unfortunate pet choice that sealed the deal. The Belgians used German shepherds as police dogs during their colonial reign of terror. Oh. So when George's dog joins him at the press conference, he turned the whole country of Zaire against him. Damn. When George brooded, Ali was in the process of inventing hip-hop with his rhythmic creative bragging. 
because when I whoop this man, I want to be declared by all as the greatest of all time. That's right. Because the stage is set. I'm 32 years old. My legs are gone. This man is strong. You talked about how great he was, and now we're going to see. Get them all out at your theaters, and you write everything you write, but I'm going to make you eat everything you say against me, all of my critics. I injured a stone. Bro, and I he predicted that shit, bro. I'm so bad, I <coughs> sick. I'm so fast, man. He's such a character, bro. It's like his, his charisma is what I wish to have. was joined on his runs with locals not far behind chanting what translates to Ali, kill him. So that's what it means? What the hell? I didn't know. Last night I cut the light off my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. Fast. Fast man. All of you chumps are gonna bow. Fast man. All of you. I know you got John King the thief. But the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. Great I am. Sixty thousand. You know that take that sound? Cheered him on. Ali knew none of those people were in there to help him. He shouted at George like a man trying to shoo a bear out of his yard. Ali was a four to one underdog. It's crazy when you think about George Foreman's mentality at the time too. George Foreman was going to kill Muhammad Ali. As George's robe was peeled off of him <coughs> like a Muhammad Ali, skin, damn. even Ali looks like he understood why. George is a big man, though. He created Ali and devised a great plan. Expected. Came out throwing heat with his lead right hand. Ali <coughs> would move and dance. Ali framed him too. Ali controlled his shoulders. Before settling into the, the experience clinch. helped him against George. <coughs> and he's just as he's Ali as tall as the he's just as tall as four men. No, it's not tall. With. He was a slick, shuffling dancer on the outside. But George was perhaps the greatest I'll say my touch is as fast as Muhammad Ali. has ever seen. Just in a different way. Every clinch came with words as sharp as his punches. And his trash talking was intense too. Nobody talked smack to Foreman. <coughs> Nobody lasted long enough to. But as Ali sat in his corner, he winked at the monster across the ring. Damn, that boy had different what sauce. He had to do. Angelo Dundee hated the idea, but Ali knew the rope-a-dope was his only option. The soft canvas was tiring to dance on, so Ali put his back to the ropes, committed <coughs> to finding clean his counters, head. while clinching to wear Foreman down. Foreman smashed Ali with body shots every time they got close. With any landed Bro, punch, Ali's Ali pulled crazy. George in and spoke his poison. Foreman did the worst thing a fighter can. He had bought into his own hype. He thought Ali would be gone in minutes, like all the others were. While George couldn't no land a clean shot upstairs, <coughs> he was absolutely caving in Ali's ribcage. Body punches don't often stop fights, but they hurt, and they force air out of your body, yep, making they it do. difficult to breathe. Sometimes you don't realize it, bro. You're you getting hit in the body, and you don't realize that it's guard. taking your breath away. In turn, made sure Ali isn't you ever been a punch to interrupt his fury. <coughs> You've been punching your stomach, and you've been attempts from Ali <coughs> makes George keep his distance a bit. But that little bit of distance allows Ali to mm. get off sizzling Great combos counters. that are clearly bothering mm. him. Mm. Ali just keeps taking these punches. Like these punches human, have smashed bro. 40 men to pieces. Like a superhuman. This ability to take this kind of punishment is inhuman. It's literally inhuman, bro. Ali's skills are sublime. His speed is astounding, but all that fades <coughs> with age. Mm. It's his will that made him the greatest of all time. This was the fight that made me realize it. The utter I never really understood why people called Muhammad Ali the greatest of all time. Assault. But after this, some people say I you have it or you don't. 
<coughs> that's a fallacy. The younger Ali that had shredded Ernie Terrell mm. couldn't take these punches. Mm. It was the experience, the war with Frazier, the broken jaw from Norton that mm. gave him the ability to do <coughs> this. Ali grabs George and asks the question that unraveled him. Is that all you got? All you got, George? George would confirm Crazy. later it was indeed all he had. At least trash stuff is crazy. Like imagine pummeling a man and he's just talking trash to you. The You're absolutely like you can't beat someone like that. That's what you call ignorance. Into wild no matter what flavor. you do, they're gonna talk trash, bro. <laughs> You'd have to kill them. Hmm. 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 Bro, he made George Foreman retire. My God. Haunted him for years. But George Foreman changed too. George Foreman became a new person. And won the championship Ali back 20 years later. Ever and wherever he can. <coughs> Even in his moments mm. of offense, Ali is still mindful of George's power. All mm. this on a human 82 mm. degree night mm. in the heart of Africa. He showed his head. Ali was many things a fighter, an activist, and habitual dissident. But before any of those other things, <coughs> Ali was a consummate showman. He fed off their energy. He was a boisterous, charismatic madman. He moved people. He still evokes like something that. in people a way that no other athlete ever could till this day. Right. By round eight, George was tired. <coughs> this was the wrong place to get tired. Mm. Mm. Pivoted. After landing the final the the ropes. End, Ali, rather than destroying the aesthetics of what was happening, chose to just watch. His right hand cocked back the entire time. The old soldier, <coughs> on one last run, had managed to pull off the impossible. Literally the impossible. That can only be discovered in the deepest, darkest Literally moments impossible. of a person's life that allowed Ali impossible. to overcome every obstacle placed in his path. The hero's funeral had been called off. What do y'all think, man? Like, bro, like Muhammad Ali is such an inspiration, bro. Like, imagine being able to, like, apart from his boxing, this one's not, not even about the will to stay up, to go to not lose, like, to get pounded and pounded and pause and to keep going. Like, his charisma, he was able to, I don't know, just invoke certain emotions in people. <clears throat> You know, and I can feel it. That's what I want to be. You know, I want to be able to talk to people, and I don't know what it is. Like really talk to them, not just talk to them, but talk to them, talk to them. You know, I don't know if you all understand me. Be able to 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 change people or speak to people, and like they hear my words and it changes them. You know, influence others. I don't know. I just want to be. I just want to be charismatic and be able to walk into a room and light the place up, type of stuff. But yeah, cancel funeral. That's that's a great way to put it. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Do y'all like what do y'all think about George? But George Foreman, you know, he, he came back 20 years later after going through a transformation, becoming a better person, and like a few few hundred pounds heavier, came back. That was an over exaggeration. But few hundred like few pounds heavier, came back and reclaimed the title 20 years later. We should probably watch a video about that. But yeah, let me know in the comments, man. Like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I'm back with the YouTube videos, man. The grind doesn't stop. In the summer, I was grinding, but I got school and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to see you all in another video. Peace.